Hey guys, you're listening to the podcast, Here's the Dill. With just a couple of pickles, Tiffany and Andrew Dill, as in Dill Pickles. Testing. Oh my gosh. Testing, one, two, three. Okay, now. Someone shoot me. This was the worst (laughs) experience I've ever had with software. Okay, let's delete Hey there. Congratulations, you made it back to the second episode. We are going to school you today on, um, what, renting? Yeah, and um, this is Tiffany and my husband, Andrew. Yes. We are back on this episode number two. We glad, we're glad we glad you made it back, or maybe you never made it through the first intro. Maybe you just skipped the intro and went straight to the second one. Which may be better for you, so I don't That's know. That's probably why you're <laughs> listening to this one. Yep. <laughs> Can so I just, I, just, a, just aside, I, I would like to uh, karate chop those who uh, come up with the program GarageBand. <laughs> and I realize it's kind of, um, what do I say, amateur, like a amateur software for using for, for yeah. podcasts. Um, but this is our second one. We don't know what we're doing. Um, and that's part of it, I think. You would think that I was programming Fortran, trying to get two microphones to work. I know. He was not happy, but... All the equipment still works because I was very patient and did not throw oh, really? it on the floor or try to run over it with a car. That's true. You did not run over it with a car. So you were very patient. So we, we have, have some benefits for renting today. Um, how, yeah. do, how would we want to jump into this? What, is your, what are your ideas? Well, we can start off by saying that we started off small. We actually, how long have we been married now? Like 10 years. Yeah, well, let's back up just a little bit. I... I actually purchased a condominium uh, oh, right yeah. out of dental school. I thought I and that. It was a great condo. It was. Um, and it was right outside of Louisville. And the reason I purchased that is because I thought that was where I was going to be settling down. But that wasn't necessarily mm, the case. Nope. You yeah. know what was cool about that place? Yeah. What was your the number one thing you really liked about that place? I There were a lot of things I liked about that place. I liked the location. I liked that it was very spacious for a condo. It had two bedrooms and a den. And the fact that the master bedroom had two walk-in closets. That was huge. That two was walk-in huge. closets. <laughs> yeah. That, I thought you were going to say that right off the bat. <laughs> yep. That, that, well, I mean, that would have been my first thing that I would talk about. But the guest bedroom also had a walk-in closet. You can never have enough closets and garage space. Right. Exactly. Those are the two, two things that we learned, right? Yeah. Well, we never had a garage until we bought our house and built our house. That's true. Yeah. So um, I guess probably one of the biggest things for, one of the biggest benefits for um, renting is the flexibility of, with your finances. Um, yeah. Because you're renting, you're not necessarily tied down to uh, a mortgage. And so... Because of that, you can use your finances to save up, and that's exactly what we did. Yep, and not only um, that, but you also don't have to pay property taxes. So it's kind of, I like to say that renting, there are pluses and minuses to it, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. Technology, garage band. There's (laughs) a lot of minuses. There's, yeah, maybe There's not a ton of minuses with GarageBand. Well, but technology has its benefits too. So I, I see renting is a very similar situation. So, so it's, um, there are pluses and minuses to it. But the main thing for us, I think over the past 10 years, we started off renting in a very small space in um, Memphis. And we had 800 square feet. During day. my residency. Yeah. And it was cool. We rented a, a little place. We were young and newlyweds. It was so yeah. awesome. Um, and so uh, it was during my residency, and we lived probably, what, 10 feet away from a bar or something like that. It was like a bar slash restaurant. Um, and then we, it was just literally, it was a block away from Miss Cordelia's, which is the, um, oh yeah, the grocery the, store, the grocery store over there. It's yeah, kind of it like so a little cool. mom and pop place. Yeah. And we got to get a, uh, a, a shout out to JT. Yeah. Oh yes. <laughs> JT. He ran by one day. I guess we didn't even see him. <laughs> Explain to people who JT is. <laughs> yeah. Justin Timberlake. Justin hey, Timberlake, uh, has a house, uh, apparently, Apparently he has a house. We've never saw this house, but people yeah. had told us that he had a house that was just a few uh, buildings or places down from us. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that was that was kind of cool, huh? That was fun. My sister was upset that she missed out on seeing him and 
um, his, I guess, girlfriend at the time. Jessica running. Bill. Yes. yes. On the island. I and remember And we were names. like, hey, what happened? Good looking How ladies. did we not see them? Yes. <laughs> so. <laughs> but that um, was also the weekend that um, we had, what, about maybe 11 or 12 people oh in gosh. our 800 square Let's foot apartment. Let's back up. That, that apartment was a galley style, 800 square feet, and it was just, I mean, it was barely big enough. It's about this. It's big enough for a half a person. Not even a full person could what? live there. I thought it was great. I thought this <laughs> no it, shirts, just jeans, <laughs> jeans and shoes. That's all you could put in the closet. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. I do remember that. But it was so. It was such a. a it was full of character. But the the whole town was, and the whole island was. It was just so much fun. But the fact that um, we learned how to live in that space, and that was our first space that we lived in. So it was. we didn't really have anything to compare it to, and we loved to entertain. We still entertained mm-hmm. while we were there. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. We had, um, I think we had a small group that we met up with. Yes. Um, we all rotated how other, I mean, the other people in our small group had houses and we had an apartment. So right. we that eight, I think there was eight of us in the- <laughs> that small group was so awesome. We told them, we we're like, are you sure you want to meet up with us? This, yep. this mm-hmm. place is like super tiny. And, uh, they were like, yeah, let's do it. And I think I cooked out some hamburgers. We had a yep. good time. That was cool. We had a great time. And then um, when we had my family there for Thanksgiving, oh my gosh, that was a quite an interesting experience. But I have to say wait, wait, my wait. mom back up. How many people were there? Well, I said it earlier about 11 or 12. Uh, 11 or 12 people were yeah. in an 800 square foot apartment. <laughs> okay, one bathtub, one toilet. <laughs> we had to sleep standing up. Yeah, pretty much. We did. Tiff just stuck, take me to the wall. <laughs> yeah, that's all you had to do. <laughs> yeah, that was. Yeah, actually, that was your best night's sleep. Yeah, when right. you were duct taped to the oh, wall. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I have gray hairs from that weekend. Are yeah. you kidding me? <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. My mom liked to have everybody in the same place. Oh just my like gosh. this weekend, we luckily now we have. We are very blessed. We felt like now that we have a house, we have a space. We love to entertain. We love to have all of our family and under one roof. And um, now we don't feel guilty about everybody being under the same roof and crammed. Even though my mom didn't mind being crammed, but on your journey, if you're listening to this podcast to know what a journey's like to build your own house and, mm-hmm. and what it's like to have your own house exactly or very very close to uh, exactly how you want it built, then just know that at the end, it's very nice to be able to have space so That's that true. you can enjoy family whenever they come visit. That's very true. Yep. So when you go through all that hardship, just remember. <laughs> or when you go through all the hardship of renting small spaces, we actually upgraded after Memphis. We upgraded to a condo that we rented in St. Louis after that. Well, let's back up. Let me let me just tell you that, and I, and I, I want some bullet points here because people are listening to say, why in the world should I rent <laughs> yeah. instead of buy right now? Mm-hmm. And then our number one bullet point really is financial stability, okay? And then the next one is is to think about how much money we were able to save during that time period Mm -hmm. so that when we did buy a house and we bought land, we were able to buy the land in cash. And that was huge because that we were able to find land and buy it quickly, whereas if we had to look into financing for the land, someone Mm -hmm. else may have bought that land, you know? And that was probably part of a Dave Ramsey strategy there because we did Could take a Dave Ramsey class in Memphis. Yeah. <laughs> so he? we actually saved up to pay. We did. Like he said, he liked to pay things in cash. So yeah. that we did. But the other nice thing about being in small spaces is you're not accumulating as much. But I don't know. We kind of accumulated. We accumulated more than we a lot we did. of stuff in Memphis. And the reason is, is because, man, they have some good estate sales, don't oh, they? Oh, yes. <laughs> they are awesome, man. Those they are, have tons of old money in in Memphis, and if you want to kill a Saturday or a Sunday, just or a mm-hmm. whole weekend, yeah. I mean, you got to get there early. Yeah, there is crazy lines, and it is no joke. Like there's no. people stocking the estate sales there. Oh yes, it's like what's that show on TV where they go and stocking estate sales? No, <laughs> <laughs> they made a good the, show. <laughs> the auction for the. Um, Storage units, oh. storage wars, yeah, yeah, is that yeah. what it is? It's kind of yeah, like, so I, guess, I don't know. I guess one thing that I learned, just just an aside, is that when we were going through all these estate sales, we, we were pretty much just going through everybody's stuff, weren't we? It was, yeah. it was like 
silverware and vases and mm -hmm. picture frames, whatever. Um, but and it was stuff that they had just accumulated over the years, and mm -hmm. it dawned on me whenever I'm looking through this guy, this guy's garage, through all of his tools, that, I mean, just it's just stuff. Like it, yeah. it has doesn't matter to life at all, you know. And then it goes into other people's houses, right? To be stuff. And if they're going to go, somebody's going to yep. go through your stuff that you thought was so valuable at the time where mm -hmm. now you probably didn't care at all. No. <laughs> you know, at that time, I mean, those guys were either had moved or passed away. That's the reason they were having an estate sale. Yeah. They don't care about that anymore, you know, so. Right. Well, and I found yeah. some great stuff. Like we still have a lot of those things. And some of the things we actually had to put in storage at my parents' house because I found this 180-piece china set that I knew I was going to entertain someday. And 10 years later, we used it actually this weekend. Right. So right. that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. So yeah. then we moved back up to um, uh, St. Louis. Louis. Thank you for reminding me on where we live. I totally... <laughs> blah, on my, my brain. <laughs> um, but anyway, so we moved back up to St. Louis, and we rented a little bit larger condominium. Um, I thought it was a big upgrade. She thought it was a big upgrade. And one day we're sitting in bed and we're about to move. And she tells me everything she's going to bring up to St. Louis. And I said, babe, what did I say? Not, Not going to fit. fit. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not going to do it. But uh, the thing is, we got so much stuff for our wedding that we had never seen for two years. And then we moved up to St. Louis. I was thinking, oh my gosh, the space, we have so much more space now. We've got so much more cabinet space. At least I thought we did. But I wanted to bring all of our entertaining stuff and all of our dishes and silverware. And we got, we had to send back, what, about 75% of Basically. The I felt sorry, sorry for your parents. Your poor dad loaded up the entire truck with all the stuff you requested yeah. and then loaded it back up to take it I back. Know. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> uh, the, I guess the one thing that I totally, totally miss about renting and... People tell you this, and you just don't think about it, but no maintenance. Let's Woo! talk about it. <laughs> yeah. Now that we have a house. I forgot about that. Yeah. No, I didn't forget about that, And we have I do a, miss that. a new house we have maintenance on, babe. I mean, oh. it's nuts. Yes. I come home, and she's like, well, what are you doing for 30 minutes? You know, every time you're doing something with the house, it's because oh my gosh. a light bulb failed, and it's in some wonky place where I'm having yeah. to get on top of a ladder and mm -hmm. uh, basically do a, a circus act. I to had no it. idea the aftermath that we were going to have to deal with. I actually mentioned that in the intro, but yes, we have a lot of aftermath, but it's Wait. just continuous. But you know what? It's also enjoyable. Like if yeah. people enjoy the yard space, which I absolutely love our yard space for Lincoln. We haven't even introduced Lincoln. Lincoln's our dog and he's around here every once in a while. He has like I think he has Tourette's, baby. He just random barks. Oh, yeah. I don't know if he has Tourette's. He wakes up and just barks. It's weird. Yeah. Well, anyway, he has all the space. And when he was a puppy, we actually um, asked our renters. They were very kind, and we sent them an email. I sent them an email. Wrote up an email. They didn't want pets in the beginning, but we rented for them. We paid on time every month. And I feel like they, you know, were just like, you know what, since you guys were great you know paying every month on time and everything go ahead and get your puppy so we got our puppy <sighs> you know what it was it wasn't that we sent him a picture of lincoln yeah that's he was what it so was. stupid cute he was it was, he was yeah. like how could you resist them it's ridiculous but the one thing i do not miss about being in a condo is the fact that we had to haul up and down those steps every single morning to take him outside to pee and then uh. there was no but it was nice they had a dog park with the yeah. condo. But. Just say, don't get a pet if you live, like, over the f first floor or whatever. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> don't do that. I don't uh, know, but it is hard to resist having a pet. But that's the bad thing, you know, just being in a, uh, renting a space is just having to go up and down the steps all the time. So, again, back to the maintenance. How great was it if, if anything fails, you just call somebody, boom, they take care of it, or they mm -hmm. should, and you don't have to worry about it. So, or what my husband did, he actually did it himself. He didn't really call. So I don't tell our renters now, listen, that. <laughs> I repaired things our because owners. they never raised our rent. I didn't want it. To, I didn't want them to raise our rent after I called them about I needing something repaired. Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, Our rent stayed really cheap. Thank, thank goodness you were a handyman. <laughs> well, that carried over to she our house. She uses that too. term loosely. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, what's another thing? I, I, no market risk, so that's good. Yeah. I mean, you know, if you're a little nervous about mm-hmm. um, the ebb and flow of things as far as for the housing market, then, uh, yeah, no market risk. You don't have to worry about if there's a big boom or... Yeah. And you know what? It doesn't have to be a market. It could be just a location. Yeah. Some locations can go down in, in, yeah. in the city. You don't city. have to worry about the value of your rent. Although, you know, a lot of times rents go up when right. people rent their apartments and spaces. But And it also depends on maybe your location because renting in New York is, like, super, super expensive. I don't even know. Like, I remember doing the tour, and it was, like, $2,000 for basically 200 square feet. Yeah. <laughs> but... It does I mean, make it easy to, to uh, budget, I think, too. Yeah, budget, and it gives you time. Time. Time is, like, the biggest part about renting. For you know, saving, if you can yeah. rent for as long as you can, um, I felt like that benefited us because we were able, and I absolutely love going to open houses, but it was, like, pulling teeth out of Andrew to get him to come with me to open houses. But have really tough teeth, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you do have some tough teeth. <laughs> Gorilla glue those puppies in. <laughs> yeah, you did. But it was just a lot of fun just to go tour homes, and then we met a real estate agent who later became a really good friend of ours, and um, hi, Gay Gordon. Um, Shout and- out, Gay Gordon. <laughs> She's a sweetheart. Who's she working for now? I think Red Key. Red Key. Yeah. Bless her heart. But, She's um, so patient. She stuck with us for three to four years while we were looking for a house, and um, we just couldn't find what we wanted. So we had all of that time to really dig into what we really wanted. And trends change over time, so there was a lot of trend. But the biggest priority for us when we were looking for a home was like having two bedrooms on the main floor, wouldn't you say? Mm, Would that be our yeah. biggest priority? Yeah, and then yard space, maybe. Yeah. Yard yeah. space was a big one, too. We'll get into that as far as the layout of house and maybe yeah. some things to look at. But the time mm, thing for a is, home. is a big one. So we the even... Timing. We even had um, a chance to go to Homerama in Louisville, Kentucky. Homerama. Oh, that is where oh. you get to tour like 10 to 11 homes and the designers stage everything. You get to meet with the con- or the um, the contractors. They actually display all these homes for the public to view. It's at the end of July every year. It's an annual thing. And I think it's put on by the HBA, which is the Home Builders Association in Louisville. But when you go, no matter the size of house you build or the price point, you get ideas, right? Don't you think you get ideas from yeah, that? Yeah, I, I was just letting you take it. I take it from here. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I was going to go warm up some pizza. Oh. No, <laughs> no, no, no well, you're fine. I, I'm giving some good tips here. You're, they were really good tips. So, Homerama's awesome. I, I guess the biggest th- takeaway with that are these parade of homes that they may have, and, and it varies from state to state. Yeah. Uh, the name of it will is different. It's different. But it's, yeah. Every contractor, they basically build a whole subdivision. Yeah, And it's different contractors that build the house. And so yeah. you get to go in there and look at them. Designers have come in there and just thrown up on all the houses. So yeah. you get to look at Throw some up. cool... They just vomited everywhere. <laughs> you get to see some uh, cool paint colors um, yeah. and some layouts of some furniture that you may not even mm-hmm. thought about. And the coolest part when you go, like especially the Homerama, we haven't been to the other one, but they give you a handout on the paint colors and they give you a yes. hand out on the furniture yeah that, that is use. cool yeah. yeah 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 and you get to take don't they let you take pictures oh well, yeah they, they let you okay. take pictures so you take pictures the idea is when you go to one of these puppies make mm-hmm. sure you're taking pictures and that you also have some type of system on you know what Ooh. Hello, doggy. Well, hey, and, that sounded like you tooted there. Um, well, you probably did. We'll know later. Um, <laughs> and you know what paint color corresponds with the picture that you took. Oh, yes, definitely. So you have to go, it's system, and you got to have a system for this, for mm-hmm. sure. So definitely the time that you're renting, take the time to do that. Go to open houses and check everything out and get some ideas, take pictures, and know what you want when you build your house, if Absol- you're going to build. Absolutely. The one thing, I is, should this be our last point? We're getting close to the 20. What are yeah. we doing? 25 minutes? Is that... Man. It goes by... Time flies it goes by when you're having fun. One thing about renting is budgeting. If you yes. are... If you are... If it's tough for you to budget, you need to rent. And the reason is, is because a lot of those fees, like uh, taxes, uh, uh, 
insurance, stuff like that, yeah. for a house, it varies from year mm-hmm. to year. Yeah. But not when you're renting. When you're right. renting, you can go in there and you say, okay, this is what it's going to be every month until mm-hmm. I'm done with my lease. And I think, in fact, with our insurance, we actually included our rent, right? Oh, or yeah. Rent. We do it. So, like, everything we Absolutely. owned, we mm-hmm. put that under our umbrella, our yeah. insurance yeah, umbrella. So, we didn't have to take out, like, a whole separate... Isn't that what we did? So, what we did for our house, and, and this is true with most home builders, is that... We um, escrowed um, a lot of the taxes and, and the um, uh, insurance in with our home payment. Yeah. Which is nice. But I will tell you, it's changed. I haven't told her about this. We got a little letter. Uh-oh. Uh, what? Yeah. It's <laughs> oh, no. It's a little bit higher than uh. what they originally anticipated. So. Oh. Wait. Uh, we'll, gonna, have, we'll, we'll have that conversation a bit li- Huh? You're going to have to explain that to me after this podcast. No. <laughs> Great. Uh, we're about to go on vacation. We're not going to think about it. Mm, I don't know about All right, it. guys. So uh, next week, what do we think? What do you want to talk about for next week, baby? Oh, we'll surprise them. Let's surprise you guys what Ooh, we can talk about. We're trying to do this progressively. So we start off with the stuff like renting. Yep. Um, maybe uh, looking at houses. Maybe when yeah. you go there. Yeah. I know how to find a real estate agent. Ooh, why are you growling, buddy? Good. He's Hi. hungry. All right, peace yeah. out. All right, great. See you later, guys. Bye.